Hello and welcome to this excerpt from the LNG Pricing, Trading, and Hedging Training Course. My name is Tamir Drews and I conduct this course at Capra Energy. The main voice you will be hearing throughout this clip is mine. Thank you. In our next example, we are going to assume the role of an LNG producer with an extra uncommitted cargo that will be available for delivery this coming winter in January 2021. Let's also assume that our closest market, which normally gives us the best net back price, is Northeast Asia. And indeed, historically, most of our sales have been to Japan, South Korea, and Northern China. Finally, the delivered size for our cargo will be 4 million MMBTUs or 4 TBTUs. So to summarize, we're a producer with an uncommitted 4 TBTU sized cargo to be sold into Northeast Asia for delivery in Jan 2021. If we look at the forward curve as of today, we see that the JKM forward price for cargoes to be delivered in Jan 2021 currently stands at $6 per MMBTU. But this Jan 2021 price is volatile and it will keep changing between now and the delivery date. So is there a way that we can lock in the price now and in this way also lock in or hedge our margin? We can make a forward sale at a fixed price. Very good. That is one perfectly reasonable strategy for locking in the price and the margin, as we saw earlier. And this would probably be our only option if all we have access to is the physical market. But if we also have access to the financial market, we have additional options for hedging this cargo. So I'm going on camera so we can go over this example on the whiteboard. Now we can lock in the price and the margin for our cargo by selling financial or cash settled January 2021 JKM swaps or futures. And at the same time on the physical side, we would sell our cargo at the same January 2021 JKM index. Now, because our physical cargo contract price and our hedge position will settle against the exact same index, they are going to effectively create a hedged fixed price position for us. So let's see how this would work on the board. Now, first we're going to use this magnet here to represent our physical cargo position. Right now at time t equals zero, okay, we're going to sell four TBTUs of LNG at the Jan 2021 JKM index price. Now, given where the current forward price is for this index, which is $6, we would make $6 times 4 TBTUs, which is equal to $24 million in revenues. But unless we lock in these revenues and this price, we are exposed to the very real risk that prices will move against us, that they'll move down. And that would mean that the index, which is used in our physical cargo contract price, will settle at a level much lower than $6. And in fact, for every $1 move in the index, that translates to a $4 million impact on our revenues, okay? So how do we use the financial side, how do we use a financial hedge in order to protect ourselves from that risk? What we need to do is we need to sell swaps or futures. And for a perfect hedge, we're going to have to use the same exact index that was used to price our physical cargo position, which in this case is the Jan 2021 JKM index. 
Okay? We also have to make sure that the quantities are exactly equal to each other between the financial side and the physical side here. Okay? So we're going to need to have four TBTUs in our financial hedge position. So given the fact that the futures contract size is 10,000 MMBTUs per contract, that would equal 400 January 2021 JKM futures contracts, right? Just to refresh our memories, we get to 400 contracts because we have a position which is 4 million MMBTUs, and we're dividing that by a contract size of 10,000 MMBTUs per contract. Okay, so that's how we get to our 400 uh, contracts. Now, based on the forward curve, we will assume that we can sell our futures at a price of $6 per MMBTU. So to summarize, we are selling 400 lots of January 2021 JKM futures at a price of $6 per MMBTU. So we have our physical sale at an index price, and we have our financial hedge to lock in our net revenues. But as we have done before, the best way to test this hedge position is with different scenarios. So let's look at what might happen once January 2021 JKM settles. Okay, so first, based on our discussion of JKM settlement mechanics, when will the January 2021 completely settle? On which date? Is it the middle of the month before um, December 15th? Very good, that's correct. So we need to look at the time T equals December 15, 2020, okay? And we're gonna look at two different scenarios. In the first scenario, Northeast Asian prices collapse and January 2021 JKM settles at $2 per MMBTU. So our sale price ends up at $2 per MMBTU and without a hedge, we would not be very happy since our sale price is below our marginal production cost. And our revenues have fallen to just $2 times 4 TBTUs, which is $8 million. So that's a big drop of what we expected, $24 million, when we first uh, made this indexed sale. Okay. Luckily, however, we have sold futures. We've hedged these revenues. So the P&L on our financial position is the difference between the January 2021 JKM final settlement price and the $6 contract price that we locked in at time T equals zero. And then we multiply by minus one since we're short the futures. Therefore, our short futures position will make a P&L that is minus one times two minus six dollars times four TBTUs, which is a profit of $16 million. So when we look at net revenues, let's do that here. If we look at net revenues, we have to sum up our results on the physical cargo and add to that our financial hedge results. So in this case, we have $8 million in revenues from the physical cargo, and we're going to add to that a profit of $16 million on our hedge, and that gets us to a total net revenue of $24 million. Okay, so this gets us back to the $24 million in revenues that we were trying to lock in in the first place, if you recall. So our hedge works for a price decline. So let's 
let's look at the inverse situation. Here, Northeast Asian LNG prices rocket higher, and Jan 2021 JKM settles at $10 per MMBTU. In this case, we're going to have much higher revenues for our physical sale, given the realized sale price of $10 times the uh, volume of four TBTUs, which gets us $40 million in revenues on our physical cargo position. But since we've sold the futures at $6, we're going to lose 10 minus $6 times minus one, we're short, times four TBTUs, which is minus $16 million. Now, if we add these pieces together, we have physical cargo revenues of $40 million plus a hedge financial loss of $16 million, which gets us to $24 million again. So our hedge works for a price increase as well. So we can say that our hedge works for both scenarios. It works when prices collapse, check, and it works where prices surge much higher, check. Next, let's discuss why we might want to use this structure where we use a financial hedge to manage our risk instead of just trying to sell the cargo at a fixed price in the first place. But before we do that, are there any other questions about this example or anything else that we've covered?